Right, so this is um, my chocolate mousse vid, but I thought I'd just show you the smoker um, that we're going to be doing after this video. We're going to be doing some uh, smoked chicken, uh, jerk chicken. But anyway, so this is the finished mousse. What I've done is I've sprinkled some uh, Maltesers on, but let's have a, a birthday bite. Whoa. Mmm. Oh. That's heaven. It's really light actually. Um, usually I make them a bit more mm. solid. But anyway, carry on watching the rest of the vid and I'll show you how it's done. Right, so we're doing the prep for um, chocolate mousses. Um, now, there's quite a few things here. My first tip is make sure you've got all of this laid out and organized because basically what happens with mousses is it's kind of slow it's fairly easy but kind of you want to get everything together want to have everything organized um, because the final kind of process is to whip in your um, egg whites well your egg whites have got to be nice and fluffy and then you fold that into the chalk but you want to have everything ready so you can sort of quickly do that. You don't want to spend too much time doing it basically because the air will come out. The thing about a mousse is it wants to have air in it and that's the the key to having it tasty really. Um, I'll go through a few of the things. I mean you can see what I've got here. To the right there's ramekins that you need. Have those laid out on tissue paper because you might get a few spillages. So it can be get quite chocolatey and messy but it's part of the fun. I've got an, uh, a whisk. I've got um, uh, a grater because you're going to need some orange orange zest. And we're also going to use a bit of juice from one orange. We've got two oranges. We're going to do a zest of two oranges. Bowls. You're going to need quite a few bowls because you want to collect the juice and also have something to put the the zest in. Um, and yeah, the bowls are at the back. You want a nice plastic one that you want to whisk the egg whites in. And I've got a glass bowl in to melt the chocolate. Two slabs of chocolate. It's just normal. Um, Lovett's dark chocolate and then I've got some Maltesers which I'm going to crush and I'm going to put on the top. Um, also I'm going to add a little bit of liquid glucose because I'm using dark chocolate I like I like the mousse to be a little bit sweeter um, so this liquid glucose um, you just put about a teaspoon of that in um, if you use normal sugar it can take a long time to melt in the chocolate and it can be a little bit grainy so liquid glucose is basically sweetener that you kind of put into cakes and stuff. Um, it'll just add a little bit more sweetness. Oh, and a little touch of salt. But anyway, let's go into the actual cooking. Oh, and eight eggs. So I've got two slabs of chocolate, and I'm going to be using eight egg whites, and I'm going to be saving um, an egg yolk, or a yolk and a half maybe. Um, so, oh, and also some unsalted butter. But you'll see all that as I go through the the whole thing. So let's get started. So our water's on to boil. Glass bowl, make sure it's nice and clean. Onto there. You want a gap in between the water and the glass bowl. You don't want the water to be touching it. Um, and then basically break up your chocolate. Sorry. Like so. And this will melt it. So basically you want the water to come to a boil. Um, and then after that you should sort of turn, turn it down a bit. Because it doesn't have to be boiling uh, vigorously. Um, and then basically what we want is just all that chocolate to melt. And a little trick when you're making these mousses. Is, this might sound a bit weird. But you want a little bit of salt. Touch the salt. And this actually... Um, brings out the flavour of the chocolate. Right, so we'll melt all this down and, I'll, and then we'll go on to the next stage. Um, oh, as you're doing, as this is all melting, we're get, basically you want to be doing um, other parts of the process. So, for example, um, zesting your oranges and getting some orange juice. And also you can be um, cracking the eggs and saving the egg whites. But let's, let's, let's just go on, let's just get into that, yeah. Right, carry on. I'm actually using the third slab of chocolate because I thought 
well, I'm not going to be making mousses for a while, so I thought I might as well use the third one and get about four extra mousses, probably. But, um, okay, so what we're going to do is just do our zest. Um, now, the amount of zest to use is up to you, really. I and mean, if you're going to do two slabs of chocolate, I think perhaps one orange is enough. It's just that usually I'm, I usually do about four slabs of chocolate, so that's why I'm thinking of perhaps two um, oranges. It's just because obviously this year I'm not actually doing this for a party, I'm sort of doing it for me. <laughs> but uh, anyway, they, they keep for a couple of days and I've been running, so it's all, it's all good. Um, right. It's a good reason to be doing more exercise after this. So we're just going to zest away. Um, I don't think you really need to be seeing me zest this. It's not making for particularly exciting uh, viewing. Okay, well, I'll just actually show you pretty much. So what I'm going to do is I'll do an egg. Well, we're here. show you what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the egg whites. No, I'm not. I'm going to put the egg whites in here. So let's just move our little orange. And then you want two bowls. So we're going to do eight um, eggs. Um, and we're going to save the egg yolks. Now the egg yolks you can use um, for an omelette. So, but we want to, oh, the white's just gone in the wrong one. But the yeah, best way of doing it, oh look, there's two in there. But yeah, best way of doing it is transferring your um, egg yolks into one half of the shell. You don't want to get any um, egg yolk in because that will affect the ability of the egg whites to um, go nice and uh, whisked up basically. So that's it and we're going to save our egg yolk in, in another bowl. That's why I always recommend having multiple bowls in case something goes wrong. For example that and you can actually then save that egg white. Cunning. But um, right so we're going to do that. Oranges and then oil zest sorry and our eggs. And I'm also going to use my Du, 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 over there, the juicer to get the juice of one orange. Okay, press pause and carry on. Right, so here's the zest of two oranges, and I've only used the juice of one orange, but that's quite enough. And because I've used three slabs of chocolate in the end, um, I've used ten egg whites. So there's the amount basically. Um, and as I've been doing that, I've just turned on the pan. Now you see the left is the chocolate and there's a little bit of a lump in there but I've taken it sort of off the heat because there's enough heat still coming off from the water to melt the remainder. Now what I'm going to do is melt the chocolate and I'm going to sort of let that cool, start to cool and I'll show you how much butter to use. So it's basically going to be quite rich, this mousse, mousses. So it's basically orangey with butter and a bit of egg yolk and Malteser on the top to finish. So when that's just melted down, get it on a low heat because you don't really need, you don't want to burn the butter and it won't take long for it just to melt. I've actually melted the butter, uh, uh, burnt the butter before by not keeping my own eye on it. That's the key to have everything ready, so quick and easy. So now, um, what I will do is I'm going to let this cool even further actually. I'm going to take it directly off the heat. Because if you add egg yolk to this, what will happen is the egg yolk, if it's too hot, it'll tend to cook um, the egg yolk because obviously heat and eggs and if that happens you might end up with a bit of a sort of bit of cooked egg in there which isn't the end of the world but it just makes your mousse sort of sometimes have a few sort of strange um, lumpy bits so if anyone's ever had my chocolate mousse and they wondered why there was these beautiful crunchy bits of chocolate in there it might have been egg <laughs> so um, Actually, I don't know why I'm admitting to this on live on YouTube, but there you go. So look, butter's done. Just move this um, over a bit. Oh, there's my Sprite. I'm going to have that in a sec. 
So yeah, oh no, off the heat, we don't want to get it on the heat again because we want it to start cooling. Oh, and we don't want that on either. So we're going to pour this butter in. Ooh, nice. And then we're going to mix it all in. Of course that's adding more heat to our mixture. So we're going to have to let it cool for a bit longer. Now, the key to basically knowing when it's cool enough for you to start mixing in your egg and then folding in your egg whites is you can, if you dip your thumb in, and obviously you can then lick your thumb. No, don't do that because that's bad cooking practice. But um, but yeah, but you can then test the flavor, uh, test the flavor, test the um, the heat with your finger. So I'm going to let that cool for 10 minutes. In fact, what I'm going to do now is take it off the hot water, uh, directly off the hot water. And then if you've got something to sort of put it on, like a um, one of those things to the left, which has got air underneath it, it's going to cool faster. So we're going to do that. Oh, see, yeah, to touch that, it's quite hot still. So we're going to cool that and then carry on. Actually, it's only been five minutes. And because it's a hot day, I've realized this could take ages to um, chill. So what I'm going to do is put this into a bowl of cold water. And if you've got ice, obviously that's going to speed down the cooling process. But I just want to speed things up by a minute, five minutes or so. I'm actually at this stage going to pour in my orange juice and zest. Mix that in. That will cool it down a bit more. I mean, you can obviously... Um, Put these things in slightly faster but generally I found if you rush rush this mousse then things go wrong. I once had one that was really kind of beyond the beyond. It just went really thick and um, I had to sort of basically put, put it over heat and kind of recover it but it, it worked out okay in the end. See actually if you look at this mixture now it's changed consistency. See when you start adding things to chocolate um, I'm no expert. Is it will change? It start to change the overall consistency, and some things will react with cooked chocolate, and and things strange things will happen. But in this case, it's actually looking really nice. You see the colour there has got a really rich, dark flavour after I put that orange juice in. Now, the thing I why, why put the zest in now? is because I, I like the sort of zest to sort of cook off and hopefully when it's still warm it'll kind of the zest will kind of um, disintegrate I'm giving it a bit of a stir well that's gonna this is gonna be a good move so I can just feed it in my bones right so now that's done I'm gonna put it over this cold water still quite warm so I'm not I'm, I'll keep an eye on it actually I'm literally only gonna do this for a minute or two and then let's go now into whisking our whites and then folding it all in. Right, so we've been cooling for another sort of five minutes or so. So it's had about 10, 15 minutes cooling. I'm now gonna put in this much egg yolk. Now this is just gonna add a nice richness to it. But as you're doing it, actually we're gonna take this out of this. As you're putting in your egg yolk, um, you want to keep whisking because if there is some heat you don't want this to curdle this egg and you don't really want it to cook so you want to keep stirring so you get no nasty kind of lumps and that's actually gone in just fine so yeah we've done everything in there so we've put zest well first off we put a little bit of sh uh, salt just to bring out the flavor we've put some zest in there Juice of one orange. Uh, oh God, I forgot to tell you. <laughs> There's one thing I forgot to tell you. I've put a little bit of the glucose. I did mention it at the start. I've put like a teaspoon um, of little bit of this glucose in. It'll just add a little bit of sweetness, which I find with dark, when you're using dark chocolate, um, I like a bit of extra sweetness in there. Although sometimes it doesn't really need it. I've done it without. But um, yeah, and then just a little bit of Okay, to finish off, let's go on to the, the whisking. Right, so I'm going to have to shout over this, but 
what we're going to do, I'll show you how to whisk, because in it goes. You don't really want to try and hit the sides too much, but as you're doing it, you want to move the whisk around, and you want to sort of, don't always do it in the same place. So actually using a circular motion almost with the whisk, do your egg whites. Now you can see this going nice and um, fluffy. And I'm going to press pause, and then after I've whisked for another five minutes, because this whisk is crap, I'll show you show you the right consistency. Right, so you can see there's the consistency of our egg whites. And now what we're going to do is basically, with our spatula, put our chocolate in. It's quite tricky this, I don't want to drop it. There you go. Get it all in, scoop it off from around the sides. Then I'm going to show you the technique just to basically get all this chocolate mixed in. If you've got any kids, obviously it doesn't matter about the bowl. Or big kids, or whoever. <laughs> or the dog, the cat. <laughs> the next door neighbour. No, um, depends if you like the next door neighbour. But, uh, right. So I'm going to show you how to do this so that it's quite stiff. Um, you want to gently fold it in, but you don't want to be too slow, but you don't want to be too rough. So all this chocolate has to mix in. So you can see I'm working from the bottom, and then I'm folding over. And then eventually it'll all mix in. Just take off my glasses because I've got rather hot. So I'm going to keep going at this and then I'm going to show you the end result. Looking absolutely brilliant. So now what I'm going to do is come over here quick. Sorry about this. You might be wondering where are the Maltesers going? Um, the Maltesers are going to go in once this is set. Basically what I'm going to do is crush the Maltesers. Um, I mean I could do now I suppose and then they would sort of mix in a bit. But I was just going to have those as a sort of little top crunch layer. So um, I mean the thing is if I'd have remembered to do the Maltesers, they would all be crushed and I've completely forgotten. So um, I'm just going to basically what you want to do at this stage is get that folded as quick as possible because the longer you leave it, you basically your egg whites are losing oxygen. And the thing about a mousse is it wants to be nice and fluffy as you can see. Um, there you go, I've got most of that. Now you're going to need your spatula and then. I'm just going to pour you one. I'm not going to show you the entire. Oh, I've made a dollop there. I'll do you one really good one. So here we go. It's in the bowl. Yeah, no, sorry, it's in the jug. And actually, when you've got the spatula, you want to when you pour it, just be um, just be careful because you'll get dribbles. So there you go. There's our mousse gone in. And there we have it. One lovely mousse. And um, I'll show you. I'll show you one of the mousses with the Maltesers on uh, tomorrow because I'm going to be doing um, some Jamaican smoked, sorry, jerk chicken on the smoker. So uh, I'm going to do a bit of a birthday uh, sort of uh, extravaganza with obviously this mousse to finish. So hopefully you'll watch that tomorrow. And thanks for watching. Cheers.